Best Products, or Best as it was most widely known, was one of the most unforgettable retail businesses in modern times. Even if you don't remember what they sold, you would certainly remember the unique storefronts in which they operated. Best Products began their history in 1957. Sidney Lewis, a lawyer who sold encyclopedias with his father in Richmond, Virginia, wanted to create a mail-order business selling more than just encyclopedias. Soon after, he and his wife Frances opened their first storefront focusing heavily on the catalog showroom approach similar to a style used by service merchandise. In this style of retail, merchandise is displayed beautifully for the customer. The item is paid for and the customer is then sent to a pickup area where they are hand delivered the item. But that style wasn't enough to set them apart enough from other retailers. They needed something unique. The Lewises visited New York often to see contemporary theater. This inspired them to expand their storefronts while incorporating artwork into the architecture. As Best added stores throughout the 1970s, some of these buildings were modern marvels in architecture. Some stores were even purposely designed to look like they were in an earthquake or had huge pieces taken out of it. It was a very bold design and made for some great imagery. Best expanded in 1982, adding stores across the country, eventually owning 169 department stores and 11 jewelry stores, as well as continuing to operate its successful mail-order catalog. The store was earning $1 billion annually during this very prolific period. The wild success of the chain allowed Best to purchase catalog competitors such as Basco, Modern Merchandising, and Great Western. That was however as long as the boom lasted. Within 10 years the company began hemorrhaging money and was forced to file for bankruptcy for the first time in 1991, only 9 years after the first major expansion. So what happened? Why was Best suddenly at its worst? Catalog based retail stores like Best and Service Merchandise were becoming an unpopular form of retail as customers were embracing stores like Walmart, Target, and Kmart where the customer can handle the merchandise they are about to buy as opposed to a well merchandised example item. This also kept prices at these stores lower which is always more desirable. Thus stores that explicitly utilized the catalog style of business faded quickly throughout the 1980s and into the 90s. Best Products filed for bankruptcy a second time in 1996, forcing all stores to close in 1997. Everyone within Best Products lost their jobs. Today, with one exception, all Best Products stores have either been demolished or repurposed with no sign of the original artistic designs. The only notable exception is a Richmond store that is now occupied by a church. Even today, it still shows off some of the original architecture that made Best Products such a notable brand. With the internet slowly taking shape, Best Products had several of the factors including the name, reputation, and marketability that could have allowed them to morph into the first incarnation of Amazon. However, the timing just wasn't there, and sometimes succeeding in retail is a matter of being in the right place at the right time, and this just wasn't the right time for Best. While there are some retail businesses that have created unique storefronts in recent years, none will probably ever come close to the creativity that went into Best. Although the brand itself may not be one of the most remembered today, the buildings the store operated out of certainly will be.